Every single one of us has felt the sting of regret at some point those moments when we wish we could turn back time and make a different choice. Now, what if I told you that some of the wisest people in history had a secret to living without regrets? It's true, the ancient Stoics thinkers like Marcus Aurelius Seneca and Epictetus mastered the art of maintaining tranquility and making decisions with a clear, unwavering vision. Today, we're diving deep into their world, not just to explore philosophy, but to extract practical, actionable advice that can transform the way we face every single day, from managing stress and anxiety to making choices that align with our deepest values. The wisdom of Stoicism isn't just about understanding the past, it's about taking charge of our future. So stick around because you're not just going to learn about these philosophical giants, you're going to discover how to use their teachings to lead a more fulfilling, regret-free life. Let's unlock the power of Stoic wisdom together, and I promise you we'll walk away with a toolkit that might just change your life. And before we jump in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay with us throughout the entire video, because each segment is packed with insights that build on each other, helping you harness the full power of Stoic wisdom to revolutionize your life. Marcus Aurelius faced one of the most devastating pandemics in history, the Antonine Plague. This catastrophe could have led to mass hysteria and chaos, but Aurelius chose a path of calm and deliberate action. He implemented practical measures such as subsidizing funeral costs, recruiting new soldiers, and even selling personal possessions to fund military endeavors. His responses were not driven by fear, but by rational decision-making a hallmark of Stoic philosophy. This historical episode teaches us a profound lesson in resilience and perspective. Stoicism encourages us to see the repetitive patterns in human history. Marcus Aurelius himself said, look back over the past with its changing empires that rose and fell, and you can foresee the future too. This insight suggests that by studying history, we can prepare better for the challenges we face today. Indeed, the notion that history often repeats itself isn't just a cliché, but a grounding principle that can offer us comfort. It tells us that the trials we endure are not unique, that others have faced similar, if not the same, struggles in connecting this stoic wisdom with the thoughts of other philosophers we find echoes of similar sentiments. For instance, the Greek philosopher Heraclitus noted that nothing is permanent except change. This aligns with the Stoic understanding that the world is in a constant state of flux and that our experiences are merely part of a larger recurring cycle of events. Furthermore, Aristotle observed, he who learns must suffer and even in our sleep pain that cannot forget falls, drop by drop upon the heart, and in our own, despite against our will, comes wisdom to us by the awful grace of gods. This suggests that adversity is a necessary conduit for learning and growth today. As we face global challenges, be they health crises, environmental issues, or societal upheaval, we can draw strength from these lessons of history the current events may seem unprecedented, yet if we look through the lens of history, we see a tapestry of human endurance and adaptability. This perspective doesn't just serve to comfort us, it empowers us. It encourages us to approach problems with the same rational and composed mindset that Marcus Aurelius exemplified by embracing history. We do not just learn about the past, we also learn how to face the future. Stoicism teaches us that our reactions to events are within our control, even if the events themselves are not. Epictetus articulated this when he said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it, that matters. This mindset can transform our approach to modern crises, helping us to see them not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities for growth and improvement. 
embracing history through a stoic lens involves recognizing the cyclical nature of events and understanding that our current challenges are part of a larger historical context. This recognition helps us remain balanced and proactive, rather than reactive and overwhelmed. By studying how figures like Marcus Aurelius dealt with adversity, we can equip ourselves with the wisdom to handle our own crises with grace and resilience. Marcus Aurelius once insightfully noted, we all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. This profound observation highlights a common human paradox, where our self-interest often gets overshadowed by our concern for others, opinions in today's digital age. This issue is more prevalent than ever, as we are constantly inundated with a barrage of opinions, news and social media updates. This overwhelming flow of information can significantly amplify our worries and anxieties. Marcus Aurelius teaches us a valuable lesson in Stoicism, the importance of filtering out the noise to focus on what truly matters our own values and actions. The Stoic philosophy encourages us to maintain our focus on our own conduct and character rather than getting swept away by the sea of external opinions. It's about recognizing what is within our control and letting go of what isn't. As Epictetus famously said, only the educated are free. This education isn't just academic, it's also about understanding the wisdom of emotional independence and discernment in the face of external pressures. This stoic principle of focusing on oneself and ignoring external noise is critical in our modern context. It teaches us not to be driven by the fear and greed that often permeate public opinions and media sensationalism. These external forces can cloud our judgment and detract from our inner peace and clarity by adhering to our personal values and focusing on our actions, we can maintain a clear path forward, undisturbed by the chaos that might surround us. This concept of ignoring the noise resonates not just in Stoicism, but also in other philosophical traditions. Socrates emphasized the importance of self-knowledge. With his dictum, know thyself, he implied that true wisdom and peace come from understanding one's own nature and not being swayed by the opinions of the masses. Similarly, Plato spoke about the allegory of the cave, which can be interpreted as a call to focus on the enlightening truth of reality, rather than the shadows cast by society's falsehoods. By adopting this stoic mindset, we learn to prioritize our mental and emotional resources towards what genuinely benefits us, fostering resilience and a sense of autonomy. We learn to distinguish between useful feedback and mere noise. This discernment allows us to remain steadfast in our principles and undisturbed by the often unfounded fears that can otherwise guide public sentiment. By practicing the stoic principle of ignoring the noise, we equip ourselves to navigate the complexities of modern life with greater composure and effectiveness. We learn to trust in our own reasoned decisions and maintain our course with confidence, free from the distracting and often misleading clamor that seeks to divert us. This approach not only leads to personal peace and clarity, but also enables us to contribute more positively to the world around us, grounded firmly in our most cherished values and actions. Stoicism teaches us that the essence of a well-lived life isn't just about enduring difficulties, but truly finding joy and presence in each moment. Marcus Aurelius provided a powerful directive in this regard. Remind yourself that it is not the future or what has passed that afflicts you, but always the present. This wisdom encourages us to shift our focus from what was or what will be to what is. By centering our attention on the present moment, we engage fully with our current tasks and circumstances, which can significantly reduce anxieties about future uncertainties. Mindfulness, a 
core component of Stoic practice involves a conscious effort to be aware of our environment, our emotions and our thoughts without judgment. This awareness anchors us in the now helping us to break free from the endless cycle of worry and speculation that can cloud our minds. It teaches us to appreciate the current moment, whether it involves simple daily routines or more complex tasks, finding depth and satisfaction in the immediate experience. Epictetus emphasized the importance of concentrating on the present with his advice. Do not seek to have events happen as you want them to, but instead want them to happen as they do happen, and your life will go well. This sentiment underscores the Stoic belief that peace comes from aligning our desires with reality rather than wishing reality to be different. Moreover, the practice of mindfulness has parallels in the broader philosophies of Aristotle and Plato, who also valued the importance of being attentive to the present. Aristotle spoke of virtuous action, which involves being mindful of our actions and choosing those that align with virtue in the present moment. Plato, on the other hand, suggested that true knowledge and happiness come from understanding the forms which can be seen as an encouragement to deeply engage with the reality of the present to grasp the truth behind appearances. In practical terms, mindfulness can be cultivated through various simple but effective practices, taking a few minutes each day to meditate. Focusing on one's breath or the sensations in the body can enhance our ability to stay present, similarly engaging fully in tasks. Whether it's eating, walking or conversing, without the distraction of our digital devices, can heighten our appreciation of the current moment and reduce stress. This emphasis on the present is not merely about ignoring the future, but about cultivating a quality of attention that makes us more effective and responsive in our current actions. Prepares us better for whatever the future holds by practicing mindfulness. We learn to live more fully, less burdened by unnecessary worries and more enriched by the beauty of the immediate. This stoic practice thus not only enhances our personal well-being, but also improves our interactions and contributions to the world around us, making us more thoughtful and compassionate individuals. Marcus Aurelius once penned a reminder that seems especially pertinent in today's fast-paced world. Life is short. That's all there is to say. Get what you can from the present thoughtfully. Justly, this statement encapsulates a core Stoic belief about making the most of the here and now. Not in a hedonistic sense, but in a thoughtful, purposeful manner, we find ourselves in what's known as a delayed return environment. This concept, while modern, resonates deeply with Stoic teachings. In essence, the choices we make today often don't show their results immediately. This disconnect between action and outcome can be a significant source of anxiety for many. You work hard today, but the fruits of your labor may not be apparent for weeks, months, or even years. This is where Stoicism offers a valuable perspective. The philosophy teaches us to focus on our daily actions and ensure they align with our long-term values and goals. Take, for example, the simple act of taking a walk. This isn't just about physical exercise from a Stoic viewpoint. It's an exercise in reflection and mindfulness, clearing the mind to focus more effectively on the present. Cooking a healthy meal isn't just nourishment for the body, but also an act of self-respect and care. A practical application of the Stoic belief in treating oneself justly and kindly. Engaging in a hobby transcends mere past time. It's a way to cultivate personal growth and happiness, grounding us in the moment and reducing anxieties about what the future might hold. Marcus Aurelius himself practiced what he preached, not just in his administrative duties, but in his personal life, where he journaled thoughts that would later become part of his meditations. These writings were his way of reflecting on his actions and experiences, 
a practice in mindfulness and self-service that allowed him to remain centered amidst the chaos of running an empire. Seneca offers advice that complements that of Marcus, hang on to your philosophical principles. Once they are fully considered, as if they were divine commands, do not allow any uproar to snatch them from you. This is a call to remain steadfast in our daily practices and self-care routines, treating them as essential non-negotiable elements of our day by focusing on serving ourselves in the present through thoughtful and just actions. We inherently prepare ourselves for whatever the future holds. This isn't about selfishness. It's about self-preservation and enhancement. It's about cultivating resilience by ensuring that our daily lives reflect our deepest values and aspirations. In doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also set a foundation that allows us to contribute positively to the lives of others. Marcus Aurelius demonstrated profound leadership by consistently placing the welfare of his people above his own safety during his reign. His actions during the Antonine Plague where he chose to stay in Rome amid the crisis stand as a testament to his commitment to serve rather than retreat in the face of danger. Stoicism doesn't just regard serving others as a noble act. It views it as an essential part of living a virtuous life. This philosophy teaches us that our own well-being is intrinsically linked to the well-being of others. When we extend acts of kindness and service, we transcend our own concerns and connect with something larger than ourselves. This isn't just a moral ideal, but a practical strategy for personal and social wellness. Marcus Aurelius wrote, what is not good for the swarm is not good for the bee. This metaphor beautifully illustrates the stoic belief that individual interests should align with collective interests. The benefits of serving others are not limited to the recipients of our acts. They also reverberate back to us, engaging in service shifts. Our focus from our own troublers and anxieties, allowing us to engage in a more outward-looking perspective. Acts of generosity, whether big or small, create ripples that enhance our sense of community and shared humanity. Seneca emphasized this when he said, Wherever there is a human being, we have an opportunity for kindness. This perspective encourages us to view every interaction as a chance to make a positive impact. Moreover, engaging in acts of kindness and service can profoundly impact our mental and emotional health. Psychological research supports this stoic principle, suggesting that altruism can decrease stress and increase life satisfaction. Aristotle, in his Nicomachae and Ethics, argued that virtue consists in the right interaction with others and that true happiness is found in virtuous activities that connect us with our community. Therefore, whether it's volunteering at a local shelter, helping a neighbour with groceries, or simply offering a kind word to someone in distress, each gesture of kindness is a step towards fulfilling our stoic duty to serve others. These acts strengthen our bonds with others fostering a supportive network that not only enriches our lives, but also provides a buffer against personal anxieties. In this way, serving others is not just about altruism, it's about recognizing our interconnectedness and the role we play in each other's lives. Epictetus once said, it is not what happens to you, but how you react to it, that matters in the context of service. This means choosing to react to the needs of others with compassion and action. By doing so, we not only alleviate the burdens of those around us, but also cultivate our own inner peace and resilience. Thank you for joining us today on Stoic Journal. Remember the path to a serene and purposeful life is just a thought away. If you enjoyed today's journey into the heart of Stoicism, don't miss out on our next video, which you can find right here on the screen. Dive deeper, learn more, and continue to grow with us. Thanks for being part of our community, and see you in the next video.